Hey guys, so after watching Chris Fryer's Blink Script tutorial, um, it kind of inspired me to make a tool that I've had at a few facilities before, but never kind of had had one that I can basically take with me to places. So it's called a rank filter node. And what it does is it basically takes the values in an area. So let's pretend this three by three area. And let's say this is your this is your middle pixel in the three by three square. So it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it actually takes those values, ranks them from smallest value to the biggest, and then allows you to actually select which value you want to take. So for instance, at the moment, I've got this to 0 0.5, which is actually just doing a medium, right? It's picking the middle value out of those, at the moment, nine values we've got. But the great thing is about the rank filter is you can kind of bias it towards the brightest values or the darkest values. So if I bring this rank filter down, it's going to start picking the values that are towards the dark end, right? Because it's picking the values that are the lowest out of the set. If I were to bring this up, you can see it now biases towards the brightest values, which is really cool. So I've used this a lot before to denoise renders and kind of, you can also use it a bit if you like edge extend, you can kind of do some stuff with that. Um, it's super handy. So if you want to go inside as well, it's basically just, I've watched kind of every video on uh, bubble sorting now. Um, so it's doing a basically a bubble sort and then put in these in an array, and then you're selecting a value from the array, um, which is quite simple, really. So feel free to go in there and take a look at that. So you can also, by the way, just change the field size here, so we can obviously bring this up as well if you wanted to make the area bigger, and you can then adjust to, again to see what you want to buy. So it's a super useful tool. I've used it before to do noise removal, and as I said, kind of like edge extend stuff, but it's just a really nice tool to have in, have in your toolbox. And it's also, I think we did some testing, it's actually quicker than the median actual node as well. So even if you just want a median, you can put 0.5 in here, and I believe it, it's quicker than the actual node that you get with Nuke. So give it a go, hopefully it's useful. You can find it on my website, compostingpro.com.